I'm ready to head out for dinner. I'm going to the Spice Temple, like I mentioned earlier. Shh, keep it a secret, guys. Gotta love a hook turn. Whoa. It's like it was right there, it was so close to the market. But mum just loves parking two or three streets away, just so that we can walk in the rain. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a Friday, so happy Friday. It's around 11 a.m. and I'm about to head off to grab a coffee with my mum. We always have a coffee catch up on a Friday morning. So we're heading to Port Melbourne today and I'm looking forward to it because I had my personal training session this morning. So I'm feeling very just like, you know, exhausted after a PT session. It's so good, but it does take a lot out of you. So I'm looking forward to grabbing a coffee and catching up with mum today. And then later tonight, I'm going to bring you guys with me to the Spice Temple. It's a beautiful restaurant at Crown that has been on my list for a long time. It's a Neil Perry restaurant, so it's going to be delicious. I know that. And I'll bring you guys along to see what it's like. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Here is my outfit of the day. If you've been watching my vlogs this year, you might be sick of this dress because I wear it all the time, but it's such a good one. I just got it back from the dry cleaners, so we're reunited and it just goes with everything, whether you dress it up or down, you know, it's just a staple in my wardrobe at the moment and it's from Forever New. Now here is my perfume of the day in case you guys are interested. I have mentioned this before and as you can see I use it quite a lot. I got it for Christmas and I'm nearly nearly done. So yeah, I would highly recommend this. It's a very like fruity, refreshing scent. I do also have the Gucci Bloom perfume too, which I love. So I alternate, but this is really my go-to. I didn't actually get a chance to film much today as I was busy organizing an event for Frenchies, so we've done all that. Now I've just gotten changed and I'm ready to head out for dinner. I'm going to the Spice Temple, like I mentioned earlier. So I've put on this Zimmerman dress. I've got my Gucci handbag and some white Kinnan heels from Scanlan Theodore. It's time to go and try the Spice Temple and catch up with my friend Thomas as well. These are the shoes, by the way, in case you're interested. They're super comfortable and they go with a lot of my outfits too. I could see this through. I could wait another night. One more night, one more night. I could fight it through till the darkness turns to light. Hello everyone, happy Saturday. I'm here with mum. Hi mum. Hi. And we're off to grab a coffee. Surprise, surprise. So it's really sunny. It's really warm, isn't it? It's I'm boiling. <laughs> and I'm wearing this dress today, which is pretty much exactly the same as the dress I wore yesterday, but it's with these kinds of straps and it's from Forever New as well. So let's go grab a coffee and I'll bring you guys along for today. Oh, it's green light. Cross. One more night, one more night. Say it's gonna be okay. p.m. now and I actually ended up catching up with some friends at Arbury Afloat this afternoon. We went for some lunch and some drinks and it was a really good day. You know, I just wanted to make the most out of this nice weather because as soon as autumn settles in, we won't be going to Arbury Afloat on the river, that's for sure. So Melbourne is well and truly alive and buzzing. The atmosphere is incredible at the moment and I had a really good afternoon. I then just ordered Uber Eats for dinner from Doc which you guys know is one of my favorites. So I had a really good dinner. Now I'm in my pajamas, fresh faced, no makeup. And I thought I'd fill you guys in on an event that I'm planning. I actually haven't told anyone about this on you know, my Instagram stories or anything. I've messaged some of you guys who have expressed interest and I've given you guys the details first. So let me spill the beans because we have a lot to catch up on. On the 10th of April, a Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., I'm hosting Frenchie's Brunch Club at the Kettle Black, one of Melbourne's 
most iconic cafes. In my opinion, it's one of the most Instagrammable cafes in Melbourne and it's just beautiful. The food is delicious as well. I really wanted to bring you guys a high quality event, not just in terms of, you know, the whole like setup and everything, but the food as well. It's really important to me. Good food and good coffee. I mean, it has to happen, right? Like it's a Frenchy brunch. So we've got that going on and a part of it is all about networking. You know, I really created this event because I myself know what it's like to feel really alone on the journey of, you know, achieving your goals, whether it's in your career or your business. So I decided to create this event so that people can come together, connect over good food and coffee, and just really meet like-minded people in an uplifting, positive, and professional environment. So this is really open to everyone. For those of you guys in Melbourne and included in the ticket price, is a goodie bag, is the three hour session, a brunch, two course brunch, which is going to be epic, and a free flow of coffee, tea, and orange juice. I'm really, really looking forward to this, and it's $80 a ticket. I would love to see you guys there. If you are, are in Melbourne, leave a comment down below, let me know, and I can send you more information. But like I said, it's really just to bring people together because I have been in a place in my life that was really difficult and I know what it's like to, you know, feel alone on that journey. And then I also know what it's like to be supported on that journey and to have great people around you, which is where I am at now. And I haven't always been there. I haven't always been able to talk about, you know, just like career stuff and business stuff with um, the people around me. So that's why I'm creating this space. Like I'm creating it for the past version of myself who just wanted a really like casual yet, you know, kind of professional setting to, you know, meet new people and really friendly environment as well. Like, you know, I feel like networking can be daunting and I want it to be approachable for you guys. I'll be there. There will be a speed networking session too, so you can get to know everyone. It's limited to 10 spaces. I actually sold one ticket last night, so it's now down to nine spaces available for purchase. So let me know if you're interested once again, and I can send you the link. So that's what I've been busy planning at the moment. I've been sending a lot of emails and messages and like replying to you guys as well who are interested. So at the moment, I'm just doing a pre-sale. Nobody knows the full extent of it, where it's being held or, you know, anything like that. Only, you know, those who are on the wait list know. So shh, keep it a secret, guys. No, by the time this video is out, it'll probably already be on my Instagram stories. But you guys are technically hearing it first because you guys are the YouTube fan. And I feel like we just have, you know, that special connection. So I am filling you guys in first. So, yeah, that's what I've been up to. I thought I'd just give you a bit of an update. And that's why I haven't been filming too much this weekend, because to be honest, I have been organizing a lot of this. It takes a lot to organize an event. So that's yeah what I've been up to. So anyway, it's time for me to go and make a hot chocolate and to get ready for bed. So I'll speak to you guys in the morning. Let me know as well. What should I be watching on Netflix at the moment? I feel like I was scrolling through Netflix before and I just don't know what to watch. <laughs> I've been watching The Killing on Disney Plus, which... I really like, but it's quite a heavy show, like it's a crime and kind of, you know, crime mystery drama, and I feel like I need something a bit lighter to watch on the, you know, days where I can't be bothered watching a crime show. So let me know if you have any recommendations as well, and I'll speak to you guys in the morning. Happy Sunday fun day, guys. I've got my umbrella up because it's raining. Gotta love Melbourne's weather. It's literally sunny the day before, and today it's we're back into the rainy weather, so just embracing it. I've got my umbrella, I've got my Frenchie sweater on today, and we're heading out to grab a coffee and maybe to do a bit of shopping. We'll soon see how we go. But um, yeah, rain, hail or shine, I'm going for my daily walk, that's for sure. Just got my coffee from Sensory Lab on Little Collins Street. I'm now heading into David Jones, so let's go. It's raining, so we're in the car now and we're heading off to the South Melbourne market. I ended up buying the cutest set of pajamas, which I'll show you guys later, from Peter Alexander. 
and look there's not too much to do when it's raining I think today is just going to be a really chilled out Sunday for me and mum and I think you know I'm just going to read a book later on and chill out my friend just lent me the third book in the after series by Anna Todd the books are so much better than the movies let me know if you've read them or if you've seen the films I think the third one is coming out this year maybe or next year and I'm really excited to get stuck into the third book so that's kind of the plan for today but um yeah you know what can you do when it's raining like I feel like Melbourne it's very dependent on the weather which isn't great because we always have up and downs but you know Sydney has actually had a lot worse rain than us I think they've had like flash flooding and it's been pretty serious there so you know luckily for once we can say lucky we're not in Sydney and I'm sure you guys know by now, but if you do want to purchase a Frenchie sweater like the one that I'm wearing, you can visit my website, frenchiebychelseaelizabeth.com forward slash shop, and you can get your own. They are so comfy, honestly. I love wearing this. It's just so cozy. It's like wearing a hug. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's true. It is the comfiest sweater I own. And if you've been following this channel for a while, you know, I love buying sweaters. I love buying jumpers, like anything like that. And this is my all time favorite. It's also in pink. So who knows, maybe I might, you know, develop a bigger range this year and maybe change up the color combinations. So we'll soon see. But if you do want the pink and the red, then head to my website. But let me know if there is a color combination that you guys like. I was thinking of doing navy with pink embroidery because, you know, that's kind of another element of my logo already. And we could do like, instead of Frenchie by Chelsea Elizabeth, I'm thinking for the next one to just do Frenchie. So there won't be the by Chelsea Elizabeth underneath just to change things up and try new things. So let me know what you guys think of that. I mean, I have so much fun with this stuff anyway, and I'll just get one made up for myself and then from there we can kind of you know trial it and you guys can give me some feedback too because I love hearing from you all. Now like it's always the case it's going to be tricky to get a car park around here. The market is pretty busy I mean you can tell by the roads here in South Melbourne it's there's so much more traffic on the roads nowadays which isn't that great you know that's the one thing the one thing that I liked about lockdown was how quiet the roads were but you know I do not wish for lockdown to return I'm just saying it was nice having no traffic anyone else agree but if I wait till the summer, summer, oh. is there anything you'd like to add mum to the conversation <laughs> uh, no I just I think today is a Netflix day true yeah I was actually saying last night like I don't really have a good Netflix show at the moment. It's pretty, yeah. I can't Any really find anything. Some yeah, I don't know. Mum is like the queen of TV shows. She always has really good recommendations. We did just watch Behind Her Eyes on Netflix. Oh my gosh, Andrea also recommended that to me. So shout out to Andrea and that was so good. I'm still so kind of like frustrated with how it ended though. So, I mean, that's a sign of a good show, right? Do you guys have hook turns in your cities? They can be a bit confusing. But yeah, now it's time to get ready to go. All right. It's time. Gotta love a hook turn. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really annoyed at mum because <laughs> she just missed a really good car spot and she always does this every single time we go for a drive. Like anyone else's mum do that oh. I'm so over it it's like it was right there it was so close to the market but mum just loves parking two or three streets away just so that we can walk in the rain don't you yeah you just good walk yeah you just love adding some steps onto the onto the iPhone <laughs> come on Chelsea just there we go we've got a car park yeah a street away. Here are the new pajamas I bought from Peter Alexander today. They're in this like mint green color and they're like a waffle kind of texture, very soft to touch as well and just super cute. You could almost like wear this out in the day with a pair of white sneakers and it would look socially acceptable. I mean, you can't say that about all pajamas. So I'm really loving this set. It's super cute and I just wanted to show you guys. 
it's time for me to sign off for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I plan on doing a bit of reading now, making a hot chocolate and then heading to bed. So thank you again. Feel free to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe button, come and join the Frenchie fam and share this video with a friend who also loves Melbourne, who loves, you know, good food, good coffee and a bit of fashion and shopping as well. So that would be the best thing you could do to support my channel. Thank you so much in advance and I'll be seeing you guys in a brand new video next week. Good night. See ya.